Hello, Lauren. I have several questions for you. Um, um, what inspires you to create Omay True Smart, a standalone smartwatch? So basically, when we when we started the concept of um, of Omate, it was uh, at the very beginning was uh, we created an outdoor mate. That's the meaning of uh, of um, Omate. And when we look at the other um, uh, smartwatch in the market, uh, it was very you know to find the right spot to explain and from also from our background uh, because we come you know like the management team comes from the mobile phone design industry. So we wanted to reuse um, our background, so our telecom back background, uh, in order to create a product, a unique product. And so immediately we created the term, you know, smartwatch 2.0, yeah. which is uh, just to explain like the other one are Bluetooth accessories, um, slave of your smartphone and companion. And smartwatch 2.0 is a telecom function. So that's where we feel, okay, here, we can bring uh, added value and we can bring uh, differentiation. And then we realized that when we launched the concept, we realized that many people understood that it was uh, abuse. So that's why we, we decided to, to launch a smartwatch 2.0 concept. TrueSmart has funded more than one million on Kickstarter with more than 4,000 backers from all around 50 countries. And yeah. uh, how does this sell all around the world? What about in China? Uh, so basically, on the yeah, it's four thousand, almost f more than four thousand, yeah, backers. Um, is really dispatched. Uh, I would say is one third Europe, uh, one third uh, North America, and one third rest of the world. So it's really dispatched uh, for the last third. Is like uh, in China is a big community. Uh, I would say like uh, we got maybe from the backers maybe a few hundred people from China because we made also some, some marketing at that time uh, for China. And since then we have been uh, much more, you know, like uh, since the Kickstarter because it was almost last year. It was uh, end of August to end of September. And uh, since then we got like um, a lot of orders from China on uh, China including Taiwan, Hong Kong and also uh, uh, where we are doing actually pretty well. We are actually at the Computex this week and uh, the, the big fair in, uh, in, uh, in, in Taipei. And we will be in Shanghai also at the Mobile Asia exhibition. So we have a lot of interest from our distributor in, uh, in China. Um, we have noticed that um, Ome brought two new versions to MWC, um, Elegance and Sparkle. Yes. Uh, we can find that Elegance is 30% lighter than the original. Is it designed for ladies? Uh, so it was designed with ladies in mind, definitely. But um, because the the True Smart is a very is a heavy product, it's still a big watch. is a is still definitely a big watch for uh, people enjoying outdoor activities. So at the very beginning, we were targeting men, definitely. But um, we are very happy to step by step being able to have a more a lady friendly or also some people were telling us uh, that the true smart in stainless steel was very heavy mm -hmm. so when we launched uh, when we announced the elegance actually we will start uh, uh, this month end of uh, end of june we will start shipping the aluminium uh, version mm -hmm. which is 30 percent uh, lighter um, we were thinking about all these people who gave us the feedback it's too heavy uh, or it's a heavy watch so, which is true, it's a heavy watch and you, you feel it, but step by step you really don't feel it anymore. So the, um, the elegance version is definitely, it, it, since the very beginning, you really don't feel it. So, of course, brings like uh, thinking about the woman when we design it, but um, it's still like, a, we, we don't have, it's not like a sexual orientation of a, of a design, you know? It's really like a um, focus on anybody enjoying outdoor activities. So in our community, we have uh, female, we have male, we have uh, uh, ladies running and doing outdoor activities, we have men, so we, we try to, to find a good compromise for all of them. Um, what about Sparkle? It is decorated with 
um, Swarovski right second, yes, right? Yes, um, the zirconia is a zirconia uh, sparkles, yes, so it's a crystal from Swarovski. So this would be a very limited edition. Uh -huh. This is um, uh, most likely a ultra limited edition we will do. So we are still working with uh, Swarovski um, to, to make the right model, to, to make it perfect before launching on our, on our website. So this will be, will be available within uh, the next few weeks, uh, only in pre-orders and in very limited uh, edition. What do you think about Google's Android Wear? Will you use this system? So that's, um, that's very interesting. Google, on, uh, when uh, we discussed with, uh, with Google uh, six months ago, uh, actually we, they told us at CS in Las Vegas, they told us, okay, it's very good what you did with the true smart, but guys, hold on, we will come soon with a, a new OS. You know, they told me, you know, cannot speak too much about it. I said, okay, very good. We will wait until you make it uh, available. And in March, when they unveiled Android Wear, um, we were not surprised. We knew that they were working on this kind of um, dedicated OS. Um, Right now, they are focusing uh, to, um, Google is focusing on, uh, on supporting um, Motorola, LG, mm -hmm. and they are very busy on this project. We are in discussion with them to be part of their licensee for, uh, but this will take time. Uh, hopefully, Omate has a good brand name now to be part of the licensee. Mm -hmm. So there is a good chance we, we work on it in the, in the next few months and for the next, uh, a big exhibition like a CES or Mobile World Congress. But in the meantime, in 2014, um, they will be dedicated to support these first two customers. Mm -hmm. We will come uh, most likely in 2015. We will check whether it makes sense for Omate to go uh, to this solution, which are dedicated on the companion, which are dedicated to build the new generation of smartwatch 1.0. So it's a different concept. We, we will see. Right now, we are not uh, sure whether we will we will work on it. Um, wearables are hot now, and more and more companies join. But someone says now is still early days. Um, wearables so well, but no wearable um, are good, but does not so very well so far. Um, there will be at least two years to go. What do you think about this? So wearables is a new Eldorado. You know, many people, everybody wants to work on wearable. Uh -huh. So from the um, large companies, especially software companies, uh, everybody wants to work on wearables. Definitely the future. Uh -huh. We all know about that. Um, that doesn't mean the first one will be the winner. Uh, we are part of the first one only on the telecom wearable, uh -huh. but um, we have a lot of challenge ahead. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, uh, I believe it's a great market. All the data which show that it's a market, definitely. Um, us, we are very excited to be, to be focused on the wearables uh, business. I think it's a, it's a great industry. It's, um, uh, it's going to be very exciting. You can see like also all the big acqu acquisition, like uh, uh, recently like um, Intel acquired Basis, which was uh, also a smartwatch 1.0. Um, when you see like Facebook who, who bought um, Oculus VR, you know, for the augmented reality um, helmet, like uh, with um, uh, glasses uh, for, for three billion, two billion dollars, or even uh, uh, Apple when they acquired Beats for, uh, for, for three billion dollars. There is definitely a bubble about that. There is definitely uh, uh, something um, amazing about this new industry, but we will see some startups like Omate, which will pop up. S many will die, <laughs> so that's for sure. Uh, hopefully, Omate will, will continue to grow. Um, but we know that all the large company, all the tier one company, are all working on it. So it's a sign that uh, there will be whatever we want or not. We will be the offer will be there in the next uh, the next few months. And 2015 will be very interesting, I think, in terms of uh, a product proposal, a new uh, price will go down, uh, more people will, uh, will adopt the wearables. Um, do you have any advice for wearable industry f in China? Um, so as we are like um, 
Um, we are a young startup. We, we, will, we will celebrate our first year uh, in July 1st. Uh, we are very happy to be able to give, we, we are very, um, you know, open to give uh, uh, any conference uh, I gave or when uh, to, to give advice about how to build a, a Kickstarter campaign, for example, or crowdfunding campaign. On the wearable, I would say that has been our strategy. Do not focus on, on only w your own country. You need to think more about like uh, globally because uh, even though they are like, um, you need to find a role model. Us, we have many role models, so you need to find a good uh, um, uh, a good benchmark. So you need to find, okay, that company, I like the way they do. You need to think uh, on the wearable, which community is underserved? Which community of people, do, uh, there is no product for them. So us, when we thought uh, at Omate about the people doing sports, casual sports, nobody was speaking about them. And our role model is uh, the company called GoPro, you know, like the camera, versatile, uh, versatile camera. Uh, and that company does very good in a way, they do so well in to only focus on their community. And with Omate, we try to do the same. And if there is one advice I could give to any a company wanted to work on wearables, I would say find and focus on the right community of people you want to, to work with. Who are your, the people you want to sell your product and who is underserved in the industry? Focus on this. If you do it well, normally if you hit the target, people will, will like your product. Actually, I have tried your watch and I, I know uh, the camera is on this side, right? Yes, right. But what if someone wants to wear on the right hand? Then it is not convenient. Yes, definitely. So, um, you know, what we wanted to do with the, with the TrueSmart first in terms of design was really to keep like uh, the look and feel of a, of, a, of a watch. And by putting the, the button here and keeping even the camera here, it did not look very strange, you know? It looks like even many people don't know there is a camera. So our goal was not to build a spy camera, but it was just to keep a normal design of a, sm of a watch. Uh, at, at the very beginning of our design, we wanted to put it here, you know, like the, like the Galaxy Gear actually after did it. But I was very happy we keep it here because it looks more natural. It looks like a normal watch, a big watch, but a normal watch. For the people who want to wear it on the right end, Actually, we work with more than 2,000 developers. So we have um, a huge database of developers working on building crazy application every day. And one of the challenge is to change the, you know, the UI, the user interface, to make it work this way. So you just have to, uh, to wear it that way, and then you put it here. And then you will have, like your screen will be at the right, right space, you know, at the right uh, angle. So this will be possible um, in the next few months. I'm sure we will, we will find a solution. Everything is possible with software. So it will be done. Um, okay, this is the end of the interview. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ivan.